Hello friends, this is Salar and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with enums and combo box. We will see how to bind enums to combo box and then how to retrieve enums values from the combo box. The first thing we need to do is just create an enum. So let's have a file, a class file. You need to change the class name with enum keyword and this is the best practice to have enum in a separate file. Let's write the values. Okay, so I have enum ready to use. Now on our form, so we are placing a combo box. So here we go. We are gonna add just some properties and uh, drop down style would be drop down list. Okay, so now we have a combo box and we are gonna fill this combo box with the values we have here. Let's start coding. I'm writing a method. Okay, so now here you have two ways to do that. The first method is to use the enum class get names method. Let me write the code first. We have a combo box item and then we are using add range. Now we are calling the method get names. And the name of our enum. Okay. Okay, so get names method of enum class is gonna retrieve all the names inside the uh, units enum we just created and return an string array. So if we have a string array, so we can use add range method of combo box to add the values directly. Okay, so this is done. Let's run the program. And here you see. Uh, all the enums values inside the combo box. We can make a default selection like You see we don't have a default selection here We can make one unit default and you can do that by writing combo box Selected index. Let's suppose if I want to make This one centimeter as a default the centimeter has index value number two so what we can do here, you can write two. Uh, we are selecting the index number two as a default. Let's run the program. And here you see the centimeter is selected and you can do something like units dot centimeter and cast it into integer okay so this is the same thing let's run the program and here you see centimeter is selected as default so this is how you can retrieve the values from your enum and place them into the combo box okay so this is a very simple way to do that but if you want you can loop through all the values uh, inside the enum Okay, so when do you need to loop through? For example, if you need to manipulate something here, let's suppose if I create another enum, look like low
Okay, so now I have a uh, enum like this. Here you see I have a underscore sign. I cannot put a space here. Okay, so this is uh, not allowed. So I want to remove underscore sign when I publish this enum in the comma box. Okay, so now I need to loop through the enum. By looping through the values, we have access to individual element and then we can manipulate we can replace this underscore sign with uh, space let's do that here as i said earlier the get names uh, method of enum class returns a string array of all the values inside the enum so what we need to do here string array We are just getting all the values from the enum and placing it into a string array. So now we can loop through the string array and uh, perform some operations. Now we're gonna add every value one by one and perform a simple replace operation and we want to replace underscore with our space okay so and here we wanna select no okay so what we are doing here we are getting every element one by one as we are looping through and we are replacing underscore sign with a uh, space let's run the program and here you see we don't have the underscore signs so that was the second way you can use to get the anon values in the combo box and uh, now how to retrieve the value let's suppose if i am selecting high if i am selecting low mediums so how to retrieve the value selected by the user let's put a button here So we need the anon variable the units selected index selected index is going to return an integer and we need to type convert it into enum type that is unit okay you can just print it out Okay, so let's run the program. So selected enum index is low, as you can see here. Uh, medium, selected enum index is medium. I need to put a space here. And then uh, high medium selected enum index is high media okay so it's quite simple to retrieve the values uh, from the combo box and you just need to write this line of code so that's it thanks for watching